So the research came out of um, me and my colleague, Dr. Neil Turnbull at um, Cardiff University. We did another piece of research around um, LGBTQ homelessness, which was Welsh Government funded. And we realised that there was a bit of an issue because we actually didn't know how prevalent the issue was. So we, um, we put out a survey. But one of the things about this survey was that we, um, we wanted to make sure that it represented the whole country. And from that, we got this really, um, really representative response. Uh, we got um, over 1,100 responses and they came from Cornwall, from Norwich, from Orkney, all over. So one of the things that um, we found from the survey was that LGBTQ people are not necessarily engaging with homelessness services. Um, they often don't know how to make a homelessness application and homelessness services are often not trusted places that they would they would go to. Um, and that feels to me to be a real missed opportunity because um, we know from everything else that we know about homelessness is that if someone um, is hopeless and if they engage early and if the intervention is effective, then that is a point at which homelessness can be averted. Uh, we're currently um, sending off FOIs to local authorities because what we want to find out is whether they're actually funding any services currently. So do they have um, big fence funds? Do they have um, commissioning relationships and so on? which mean that they've already got these interventions in place because if they have then the question is what's going on one of the things that we really want to do is to develop a toolkit so work with the with communities work with, with the lgbtq community in order to help local authorities homelessness departments to to have the resources to have the knowledge to engage um, with lgbtq communities to prevent disengagement um, and to enable um, these effective interventions to happen much earlier and much more effectively.